Mike, a two-one defeat here against Stevenage. You must be obviously disappointed by the result, but what did you think of the performance? I thought it was a good game. Yeah, I thought uh, both teams really went at it. I thought we played some brilliant football in periods of the game. Actually, uh, we're, we're quite pleased with the performance level in some respects against a team that really make you defend. You know that they're excellent at what they do. They really are. They're, they're very, very good at it, and we we knew that. And the first goal is a frustrating one for us. It's a bit unfortunate for Danny actually, but you know that you're going to have to defend your box so well, and um, they, they make you do it all day. So I, I found that a real challenge in our game. Um, the timing of the second goal for them so soon after our equaliser was obviously tough for us as well. Um, and we had a great chance right at the end that I thought was in. But um, fair play to them. I thought they were very good. I thought they played really well. Um, I think maybe a draw would have been the right result if, I, if I'm being picky because I thought there was parts of the game that we had really good control, moved the ball very well, started brilliantly, great chance early on, flashed across the goal, a couple of set plays that did the same. Um, and then in certain periods we could have been a bit more creative with what we had, got a shot off a bit quicker once or twice. Um, so yeah, lo lots to learn from the game I think actually, the way in which they play and how we play against it and how we prepare ourselves to be in second ball zones a bit better in certain moments. A little bit about how we chase the game and don't get counter attack which happened a little bit too often in that period. But actually lots to like about what we did with the ball as well. Yeah, the game sort of seemed to to and fro a little bit. Both teams certainly had their chances at either end. Um, how important was... Um, oh, how much of a blow was it to see Jana go off injured so early in the match? Yeah, it was a blow, and I think it, I think it, we hurt, it hurt us a little bit as well. You know, it, it just found us a bit of time to get our rhythm. He started well in those first few moments, just felt his hamstring. So we'll see how that is over the next few days. Um, but yeah, it's a shame because he's been he's been great for us, and it meant we had to get catch on a lot earlier than we wanted to. For him to go 90 minutes basically and score is pretty incredible for where he's at at the minute. So we need to see how that goes, um, and it just left us a little bit light of attacking options in the end in terms of being able to chase the game and, and, and have what we needed right. on the bench. So, um, yeah, frustrating for Sakes, I think. Hopefully he can uh, not be too bad, but we'll just see how that plays out over the next few days. Um, but we did adjust in the end quite well. Um, and, yeah, like the mentality of the team at the minute is we, we don't like that feeling tonight at all. There's a really frustrated dressing room. But there's plenty in there saying, Do you know what, there was, there was lots to like about that as well. Um, and, and, and one for us to build on, certainly, when we play, play at the weekend. Yeah, the team certainly battled hard throughout and finally got the equaliser late in the game and the roof lifted off the place, felt like we finally got what we deserved and then for them to go down the other end literally minutes later was a real blow. Yeah, it probably came in the period where we didn't have as much momentum as we had had during the game. We'd had some periods where we had real good control and momentum um, and were creating a few and then that one came a little bit when the game was just in balance and there wasn't so much happening in it. Um, but it was a well-taken goal I thought um, faded well in that in that situation and catcher at the back post which is great for him to be off the mark so we're really pleased with that um, and then the restart comes right on top of us and we just didn't adjust we ended up a little bit out of shape in terms of landing on the second ball in there and they get a chance to get the shot off and it was a bit of a sucker punch because you want to try and be in the game for a few minutes and then get some momentum again and see if you can force them to play a game that they hold, but they don't. They chase games all the time and that's why they win a lot of games. Um, and they'll cause a lot of teams problems. Weren't able to see that out, but did have a really good moment at the end that I thought we'd scored from. Just wasn't to be tonight. So, um, yeah, look, no, no, um, no dramas, no disaster. Actually quite a lot to like about our performance, but certainly something that we want to try and um, put right at the weekend. Yeah, a lot to like off the pitch too. Brilliant crowd here tonight, 7,500 people in the ground. Yeah, amazing. What a brilliant atmosphere as well. You know, at the start of the game when the place was rocking, it's brilliant. Great to see. Uh, and I'm sure they've seen lots they liked in the team tonight. They'll be disappointed like we are that we haven't got the result. But um, there's a team developing quite nicely. Um, we, we've got things to do, we've got players to add and bits to help us out. But at the moment, we're, we're really pleased with um, that performance level. We're disappointed with the outcome tonight. But yeah, I, I, think, um, I think to see the whole stadium full tonight is... is brilliant it shows some progress um, but in the in the muck and bullets of games and points we, we go away a little bit despondent tonight after after a, a performance that perhaps deserved a bit more